Hey, what's up, STFM, subscribers and viewers? Just wanted to do a quick gold update because gold is making a major move today. And by major, I mean it's heading back to the uh, original bullish channel zone that uh, started about four years ago. And by that, I mean this. You zoom out, take it all the way to the monthly. So if you look at the monthly, this gold channel, primary gold channel bull run uh, started in 2008 and it's been finding support at this level for four years and the only time it got breached was back in, that was May and we fell down here and we thought gold was going to crash back down to maybe 1300 or $1200 but never happened and it did find support in this lower uh, bull channel but the significant thing that happened today was it popped its head back into that long term four year uh, channel and it seems to uh, want to stay in there but I know that a day or a week does not make a trend so it will definitely be looking more bullish if we could do at least two weeks in there and maybe close the month of September this upper channel here above 17 21 1730 area and where gold goes you know what follows right silver should follow with it so I guess things are looking grim for the dollar that's why gold is definitely rallying today people might want to say it's because of the jobs report but something else behind the scenes really happening and it's it's really because the dollar is falling that gold is rallying and silver is falling with it so if you look at the dollar it's doing the opposite of gold right it's falling out of its bullish channel and um, trying to find support somewhere and it may find it in the uh, high 70s area we shall see how low it goes so for now the dollar and gold are inverse of each other and that does definitely make sense so I look forward to the dollar continuing its down leg maybe two weeks in a row lower highs lower lows then you should see the opposite for gold with higher highs and higher lows take a look at silver silver is making a record three weeks in a row with higher highs and higher lows but do be careful because silver is one volatile beast if any bad news happens and the dollar strengthens I would expect silver to possibly retest the 30-31 area down here but I do believe we can find support in this uh, upper trend line which was originally our uh, our area of resistance but now we're finding support on it so we'll see how this plays out but if gold remains bullish I would think silver should follow with it and if anything we should be able to find uh, some resistance in the 35 area run right here and once again up here the 37 area and I'm sure we'll retest the $40 range up here when we get there but we'll uh, we'll let silver take its time there's no rush the dollar's demise is a uh, <laughs> long drawn out process right took, uh, took almost 100 years to devalue it to its point so I wouldn't want uh, these commodity, these uh, precious metals to rise way too fast and get slammed back down. So we'll see how it plays out. It's a question for you guys. Um, I was taking a look at this, comparing my three favorite uh, ticker symbols that I like to trade on the bull side: SLV, PSLV, Sprouts, and USLV, the triple leverage. But what I don't get is if SLV and PSLV are not leveraged, why is PSLV down 5% more than the so called manipulated SLV, right? If SLV is so highly manipulated or leveraged 100 to 1, shouldn't it be uh, worse off than PSLV? Well, if SLV is manipulated, then it's a good kind of manipulation if you're playing that game. But. You know, you probably shouldn't be playing any of these if uh, the crap hits the fan. So let me know your thoughts on why you think SLV is not as, uh, you know, 
impact it as PSLV. But USLV should be three times, right, the negative of SLV or PSLV, which is about 18%, which is close to it, 22%, but I'm sure there's other costs and other factors playing into USLV causing it to uh, be uh, much lower than the rest. Of course, three times, right? Three times plus costs. And anything, any one of these ETFs, it is in the long term, is a, is a loo losing game, so definitely don't hold them. It's just good for temporary trades anyway. So, have a great weekend. Probably hear a lot of noise. I'm out here in Starbucks enjoying the California weather. And I'll trade. I'll trade anybody the earthquakes and nice weather versus uh, anything else that happens throughout the country. <laughs> this is Silver Trader FM. Have a good weekend. Keep stacking on the dips. If we ever see any, I'm sure we'll see some. But enjoy life. Live it up, man. I'm out.